Louis contains scenes in which the audience gets drawn into a conversation between two adult characters. Adults can probably understand the writer's intended conclusion more easily than children because it's often left up to the imagination what they're discussing. <laughs> In Unicorse, one of Bluey's funniest episodes, Chili tries to read a story to an overly excited Bluey. Bandit, on the other hand, is amusing himself by taking on the cruel, darkly humor role of the Unicorse puppet in question. At a certain moment when Bluey inquires about the Unicorse's favorite food, Bandit's puppet responds, deadpan, children. It wasn't what we were expecting him to say, at least not in our opinion. Obviously, it's difficult to hold back your laughter given his unexpected response and serious tone. He quickly clarifies that he's joking, but we're not not kidding when we suggest he think about pursuing a full-time comedy career. Ah. Where she makes shoes. Yes, of course. Ah! For those who've decided to have children, they frequently reflect parenthood as an absolute delight and an extremely rewarding experience. Bannon and Chili are well aware of this, and Bannon is not afraid to make fun of it while playing with Bluey and Bingo. He's playing the role of a claw machine. Here, you know, the game where you can't win any toys. He isn't going easy on the girls either, causing Bluey to confront her father. The way Bandit reacts is priceless. He gives us a glimpse into his character's life by reminding her that he is the magic claw, not their father in the most outrageous way possible. You know every parent let out a huge goff at this insensitive remark. Ah! Ice cream! But don't get excited, because I know your dad. Certain illusions, like the existence of the Tooth Fairy, must be preserved in programs for kids. A child's perspective on the world shouldn't, after all, be permanently changed just because they watched a Bluey episode. Season 1, episode 20, Markets, featured a clever joke, but the show still managed to preserve childhoods. Bandit yells, five bucks, at Chili after Bluey claims she received five dollars from the Tooth Fairy. Children might not have noticed, but adults are well aware that Bandit is perplexed as to why his wife would give their daughter a $5 bill for just one lost tooth. Who likes to dance? Woo! Two, three, four! In Markets, the same episode, Bluey discovers just how far money can or cannot go when she gets $5 from the Tooth Fairy to spend. During their shopping expedition, Bluey and her companion Indy engage in a comical conversation with the proprietor of a pufferches stand. Have these pufferches got any wheat, sugar, gluten, or dairy in them? asks Indy. That's all they have in them, the shop owner responds. I believe that every parent in the mom group is familiar with that person. Oh, yes, it will. Bugalox is going to push it. Yeah. Could we perhaps pique your interest in play? Bingo and Bluey star as Chili and Bandit, respectively. Even though the children observing might not notice, Bandit and Chili have the right to occasionally enjoy themselves as adults. Chili remarks, I don't remember the Queen being there, following Bandit's admission that they were in London and the children had tea with the Queen. There's really only one way to read Bandit's statement. Chili was under the influence of something, which is why she didn't remember seeing the Queen, which is a very significant event. There are many more, but Bluey's portrayal of her dad in particular is nothing short of remarkable. Sure, there are moments when production stalls. However, our performers overcome it to produce a memorable finale, featuring Bandit making his stage debut as little Bluey. Is there anyone who could watch this and not laugh? <laughs> This isn't the only time it suggests that parents enjoy getting tipsy. One notorious hangover episode is Whale Watching, Season 3, Episode 22, wherein the parents' hangover is subtly alluded to but not stated outright. I never want to leave this couch, Chili declares, expressing a sentiment that is universally experienced by those who have had too many cocktails the previous evening. Chili just seems to enjoy herself occasionally, so thankfully it doesn't sound like she has any problems. However, it's sequences like these that elevate Bluey to the level of a masterpiece. In Bob Bilby, Bluey brings her class mascot home, and her family wants to make sure he has a good time. The storyline highlights how common screen time is in today's childhoods, but it also has a humorous scene where Bandit reveals his true age. He says, This is all my stuff from when I used to be cool, holding a very old camera. Same here, Dad, same. This is what a real camera looks like. Are you ready, Bob? 
Given that Bluey Season 2, Episode 9 is titled Bingo, it should come as no surprise that it's chock full of humorous bingo moments. In one of these, Bingo wants to decorate the fridge with a drawing of New Zealand. Bingo, who is usually a well-mannered dog, asks the refrigerator she can put it on and if it would like to be her friend. If she's interested in the friendship, she instructs the refrigerator to beep twice. It was pretty funny to watch Bingo make friends with an inanimate object and be so courteous about it. Beep twice if we can be friends. Thanks, friend. In Collapso, Bluey and his pals are having a lot of fun while they play preschool. The Terriers are defending a Roman fort. Bluey's friend Indy is moving out with her baby, and Bluey is running a fish and chip shop without any fish. While the kids play well together and enjoy themselves immensely, there's a joke that parents will definitely be able to relate to as a mom. Oh no, I haven't slept at all this night. A visibly worn out Indy remarks as she tends to her doll. Busy, Bluey? No, not yet. This is a fish and chip shop, but we've run out of fish, so it's just chips. Okay. Being pregnant is no joke. In addition to other symptoms, it may cause pain, craving, and overall discomfort. To say that labor is typically not an easy task would be an even bigger understatement. Thus, no laughing matter, that is, unless Bandit is acting out the entire scenario and Bingo is playing with the unborn child in his womb. It's funny when he gets a quick dose of reality because at first, First, he thinks it'll be easy. Hunger, back aches, and kicks are all explored with predictable humor. He acts like he's giving birth at the end, and you can bet Bingo makes him work for it. Bandit finds it quite harsh, but we find it to be endlessly entertaining. Something about stretch marks. Take away the 14th episode of Bluey features one of Bingo's funniest moments. There are many humorous moments in the episode that show how children can test a parent's patience. Bingo realizes she needs to use the restroom, but it's too far away, so she goes into the bushes. Crows begin consuming the family's dropped takeout food in the meantime. At this point, Bingo decides to scream at a crow as she heads to the restroom. No, Mr. Crow, it's too spicy for you. A funny and memorable moment is created when Bingo simultaneously wheezes in the bushes and warns the gullible crows about the degree of spice in the food. Bingo, are you far? It's not. The humor in Bluey's Sticky Gecko episode 12 of season 2 is consistently high, but Bingo's moments are particularly noteworthy. When she brushes her teeth and asks Bluey to send her up a banana on their toy cable car system, it's a particularly funny moment. After taking a bite out of the banana, Bingo makes a face and says, Bleh! toothpaste, and then lets it drop. It's a silly scene, what with her quick return of the banana and her expressions. Here it comes! Ah, when Nurse Bingo shows Dad an extremely intriguing x-ray, Dr. Bluey is called upon to help. It appears that he has a cat in his stomach, so Bluey has no choice but to operate right away. Even though Bandit is a super dad, he still gets tired. In hospital, he asks the children, is there some game where I just lie really still on the comfy bed or something as they play? Let's talk about relatability. Now, time for your x-ray. Ready? Three, two, one. Bingo has not yet fully mastered the English language. Like the majority of young children, this causes her to use some ridiculous phrasing errors. For instance, in Favorite Thing, the seventh episode of Bluey's second season, Bingo tries using a fork to pick up cherry tomatoes. She finds it difficult to do so and exclaims, This is trifficult! In frustration, her family and audience laugh at the way she combines the terms tricky and difficult. <gasps> This is trifficult. <laughs> <laughs> In the episode Sleepover, Bingo and Bluey play the role of a husband and wife, with their cousin Sheila serving as their daughter. Bingo, sporting a fake mustache and fedora, angrily tells Sheila to get it together when she becomes rowdy. It's funny all around to watch this little dog pretend to be such a tough adult while dressed like one. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. She just